ADSB or Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast is a wireless broadcast technology that is used to share information from aircraft during operation. ADSB is a form of broadcast just like over-the-air TV and GPS. But instead of the broadcast originating from a tall tower or from a satellite in space, ADSB, specifically ADSB out transmissions, originate from the aircraft itself. In the United States, it is a federal law that aircraft be equipped with ADSB out in order to fly in most controlled airspace. This means whenever you see aircraft in the sky, they are most likely transmitting ADSB out. Not only is decoding ADSB out transmissions legal in the United States, part of how FlightAware collects its data for its website originates from over 30,000 people that decode ADSB out data in their local area and send it to FlightAware. In this video, I'll be showing you how to decode this data broadcast by individual aircraft on a Mac using an RTL SDR. If you don't have an RTL SDR, you'll need one to get this working. Here's what you'll need to do to get this working. Launch the Mac App Store and type in Max Planes. It should be the only option in the Mac App Store. Then click Get. For me, since I already got it, it just says open. The app is free to download and it's free to use with a seven day free trial. A word of caution though, do not start your free trial until you have the RTL SDR. If you don't have an RTL SDR, you won't be able to use it and your free trial will be wasted. Next, go to mtlabs.com.au forward slash planes, then click on dump 1090 Mac server. Once you click on it, it'll take you to a GitHub page. Once you're on the GitHub page, click on dump 1090 max server 3.zip in order to download it. All right, both of these apps that we've downloaded need to work together in order to get this working. So first we're gonna launch dump 1090 max server and then we're gonna launch max planes. I'm gonna navigate over to where dump 1090 is on my Mac, which is right here. And I'm gonna launch that first. All right, before we click start, make sure that you have your RTL SDR plugged in. So I'll do that now. Next, we can click start. Second, we're gonna launch Max Planes. And if you're already on your seven day trial and you have an RTL SDR, this will work the same way. If you decide to pay for this app, it is a one-time purchase of $10. If you plan on buying this, keep in mind that your purchase covers any other Macs that wanna use this app that is tied to your Apple ID. So if you have three Macs, you can use this app on two other Macs without having to pay two other times. If the Mac is tied to the same Apple ID, simply click restore purchases and you'll be all set. For a one-time fee of 10 bucks, I really thought it was worth it, so I went ahead and bought it. This video is not sponsored. I just really like this app. So this is what you're greeted with when you launch the Max Planes app. In the upper right-hand corner where it says no connection, you're gonna wanna click localhost if the server that you're running is on the same Mac that you're running Max Planes on. Now, the cool thing about this software is that it actually runs as a server. So if you wanted to have one Mac acting as a server on your local network, you could connect to the server on a different Mac on your local network network. So as you can see here, uh, I'm going to click localhost because it is hosted locally on my MacBook. So as you can see, it's going to say connected. I'm going to turn off recording. This is if you want to record your session. So I'm going to uncheck that. And as you can see, I'm not getting any planes right now. And that is because my RTL SDR doesn't have an antenna. So I've got this uh, convenient paperclip right here, and we're gonna use this paperclip to try to get some planes in. All right, so we've just stuck in this paperclip. We just got a plane. This is flight N7799T, and it just found the plane. The map just displayed with the plane. Now, what you're gonna probably see is a white plane. I changed mine to blue. You can change the plane color by going into settings. I thought that this blue color looked a lot better from the choices given. With this little paperclip right now, which again is not the best antenna,
I'm able to receive two aircraft live right now. So for instance, right now, one flight is American Airlines Flight 2132, the globally unique airframe code, which is the International Civil Aviation Organization 24-bit aircraft address is AC8583. The squawk is 5647 with an altitude of 850 feet. It is descending right now, as you can see, 800 and it's going down. Their track is 86 degrees. Their speed is 151 knots. Their vertical rate of descent is 704 feet. And we know that it's descent because it's a negative number. I am actively receiving their signal and those are the plane's live coordinates. Once 16 seconds hits, the plane is gonna be off the map. And as long as you're able to get the plane's data within 16 seconds, it'll continue to show the plane on the map. I can zoom around and show you there's two planes that are by me right now. One is heading west, the other one is heading east up north here. This plane seems to be going into the Miami airport. I can click on this plane and see what the flight is. So this flight is American Airlines flight 943. And as you can see, I literally just clicked on the plane as it's flying and it shows me the data by highlighting the line in blue. All right, the paper clip is unplugged and we're now using this antenna. So let's see what new planes we can get with this. It looks like this one is American Air Airlines flight 1600. Oh, we've got another one coming in here as well. It looks like ah, right up here, we've got another flight. What's cool is the Miami airport is actually an American Airlines hub. So I see a lot of American Airlines flights. It looks like there's two of them flying. Oh, there's another one there. So it's very fun to look at these planes and see where these planes are flying. This one is Delta Airlines flight 1790 with all of this information about the flight. And again, I'm receiving all of this right now just with this little mud flap antenna. And before I was receiving it with just this little paper clip, if I had a better antenna where the antenna was made for the frequencies that these planes are sending the data at, I could get way more planes than what I'm getting right now. So let me turn off internet just to show you that this does not need internet. So. Once you download this app, make sure you have an internet connection just to download this map initially. Once this map is downloaded, you can use this completely offline, which is amazing. And again, none of this data is being collected from the internet. This can work completely offline as the app developer says, which is why I love this app. to trying this in Western New York because the Buffalo region has really busy airspace because of its location to Toronto. So it'll be really interesting to see if I can get Canadian flights from Toronto Pearson and other airports in Southern Ontario, along with all the other flights in the Western New York region with a more substantial antenna. Keep in mind, this broadcast operates on 1,090 megahertz with a two megahertz bandwidth. You'll want an antenna that is optimized for 1,090 megahertz. Now, if you were noticing, a lot of the flights when they got near the airport, I lost their signal and they came off the map after 16 seconds. That is because as the planes become lower in altitude, the signal gets weaker and the higher the planes are, the better chances of me receiving the signal are. So that's why right around the airport, those planes disappear. It's not that they're turning off their ADS-B transmissions, it's that the signal becomes harder to receive as they get closer to the ground. Thank you for watching this video and thank you to all my Patreon members. And seriously, what are you waiting for? Join today, link up in the card above, and I'll see you in the next video. 
If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. Support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.